What's My Superpower? Story by Alvia Johnson, illustrated by Tim Mack. In a little house in the very middle of a small town, where winter was always longer than summer, a little girl named Nelvana lived with her mother. Nelvana loved everything about her small town. She loved the quiet roads with lots of space to play hide and seek and tag and street hockey. She loved to ride her bike without worrying about cars coming down the road like big monsters. Anana, Nelvana said to her mother one day, if I had a superpower, I could fight big monsters, you know? Yes, Panic, her mother replied as she stroked Nelvana's hair. Do you think I'll ever have a superpower? Nelvana asked. I don't know, Panic. Maybe, her mother said with a smile. Nelvana always thought about what it would be like to have superpowers. Everywhere she went, she wore a yellow cape made from a blanket and a pair of snowmobiling goggles resting on her head. On the first day of school, Nelvana was in gym class when a boy named Davidi ran into the gym so quickly he was just a blur. All the other kids tried to race him, but he was faster than all the kids in the class. Davidi, you have a superpower, Nelvana said excitedly. You can run faster than a ski do. Do you think that's true? Davidi asked her, beaming. I know it's true, said Nelvana. I wonder what my superpower is. Nelvana went home after school and told her mom all about Davidi. He was so fast he almost burned the floor of the gym, Nelvana told her. He was like the wind on a blizzardy day. Wow, you really must have super speed, her mother replied. If Davidi has a superpower, does that mean I can have a superpower too? Nelvana asked. I'm sure we will find out soon, her mother said. Nelvana imagined herself flying in the sky, or talking to animals, or even breathing underwater. The days began to grow colder, but that did not stop Nelvana from going to the playground to play with her friends. One day, Nelvana saw her friend Mata swinging so high it looked like she was going to loop around the swing set. Nelvana and her friends all stared at Mata amazed. Then suddenly, Mata was flying from the swing. She landed so far away that Nelvana was sure that Mata had flown through the air. You can fly, you can fly, Nelvana said. Mata smiled widely. Really, she asked. Of course, Nelvana said. If you keep practicing, someday you'll be able to fly all the way around the world. When Nelvana went home that day, she told her mom about the amazing flying girl she had seen at the playground. She was flying? Her mom asked. Well, she was jumping very far, Nelvana explained but I think she will be able to fly for real if she keeps trying. Mulvana started jumping around the house, off the couch and tables, trying to see if she could be like Mata. I don't think your superpower is flying, Panic, her mother said, but don't worry, we'll figure out what your super talent is soon. The next day, Nelvana and her friends brought their sleds to the big hill next to the school to go sliding. Nelvana's cousin, Jonasi, was already on top of the hill building an inukshuk. All across the top of the hill, there were snow sculptures of animals and snowmen and even a whole igloo. Jonasi, did you make these? Nelvana asked. Yep he said, all of them, even that polar bear right there. It was easy. What else can you make? She asked. Anything. I can make a caribou, maybe even a monkey. 
I can make things out of rocks and even ice. Is this your superpower to make things? Nilvana asked. Can you build whatever you think of? Yep, he replied. I can build anything. Nilvana told her mom all about Jonasi's superpower. Panic, didn't you know that Jonasi's dad has that superpower too? Jonasi's going to be a carver, just like his father. Does that mean I might have that superpower too? Nilvana asked. I never tried to build anything before. Why don't you try it out? Her mom said. Nilvana tried building an anukshuk out of her blocks, but it fell over. She tried to make a house out of her Legos, but it was too hard. She sighed. I guess it's not my superpower. Her mom hugged her tight. I'm sure we'll figure it out soon, Panic. Nelvana kept finding friends who had superpowers whenever she went out to play. When she went swimming in the spring, she met a boy named Adami who could hold his breath underwater longer than anyone else. They were playing games in the water. Nelvana wanted to see who could hold their breath the longest. She thought she'd been underwater for minutes, but after she ran out of breath and came to the surface, Adami stayed underwater for much longer. When he finally came up, Nelvana said, you can hold your breath for a really long time. That must be your superpower. Do you think so? Adami said. I know so, said Nelvana. Cool, said Adami. It's like I'm half fish. Nelvana was happy for her friends. They had all found things that they were good at. She liked to tell them that they had superpowers, and she liked to see them smile. They all seemed so happy to have a special talent. But Nelvana wished she knew what her superpower was. Anana, Nelvana said when she came home from school that day, I still don't know what my superpower is. Am I ever going to figure it out? Her mom gave her a big smile. I think I know what your superpower is, Panic, she said. Nelvana looked up at her mom, excited, but confused. What is it? Can I fly like Mata? Or am I really strong? No, Panic. Can't you see? Her mother asked as she hugged Nelvana close. Your superpower is making people feel good about themselves. Nelvana smiled. I think that is a good superpower to have, she said.